Let's take a look at one more example for testing the claim made about a population mean. It says a group of students estimate that the length of one minute without reference to a watch or clock and the times, these are in seconds, are listed below. Use a 0 0.10 significance level to test the claim that these times are from a population with a mean equal to 60 seconds. Does it appear that students are reasonably good at estimating, estimating one minute? Okay, so let's go ahead, let's write out what the original claim is. So it tests the claim that these times are from a population with a mean equal to 60 seconds. So the original claim is that mu is equal to 60. So we have original claim, which is mu is equal to 60. What would be true if the original claim was false? Mu would not be equal to 60. Then we have our null hypothesis. Remember, always includes equals, so mu is equal to 60. And then the alternative hypothesis, we take a look at steps one and two. It's the one that does not include the equal to symbol. So that would be that mu is not equal to 60. So what we have here is a two-tailed test, which means we're gonna have two critical values. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's draw that out. So we're gonna have one critical value on the right-hand side, and we're gonna have another critical value on the left-hand side. So now let's go ahead and use StatCrunch. We'll figure out what these values are. We can determine our test statistic and then our p-value, and then make a conclusion about the null hypothesis. So this right-hand side and this left-hand side, these are our rejection zones. Okay, so now in this problem, I'm not given a summary, I'm actually given the data. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in StackCrunch. Okay, and now I'm gonna go to Stat. We're still gonna go to T-Stats. What we have here is one sample. And now what we're given is the data. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that column. We're performing a hypothesis test. Let's go ahead, enter the null hypothesis, which was mu is equal to 60. Alternative was mu is not equal to 60. Let's go ahead and put show critical value, and then the significance level, which is 0 0.10. Now we could go ahead and click on compute, and we have all the information that we need. So here's our critical value, 1.76. Remember, that only gives us the one that's on the right-hand side. So 1.76, and then the other one would be negative 1.76. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at our test statistic, and that'll help us determine if we're gonna reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So our test statistic is right over here. Now let's go ahead and put some of the information, let's work out this problem, and we'll see what's telling us to round the test statistic to. Usually it's two decimal places. So our null hypothesis mu is equal to 60, alternative was not equal to 60, so our answer choice there is C. Test statistic rounded two decimal places, so we have 0 0.50. Let's go ahead and take a look at, here, let's just put the p-value in, since it's already up. So p-value, three decimal places, 0 0.623. Now it's gonna ask us to make a decision. Okay, so our test statistic, 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 would be about, I don't know, a little bit more than halfway. We can see that the test statistic is not in the rejection zone. So what we do here is we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So this is using the critical value method. Now, if we're using the p-value method, we compare the p-value to the significance level. So p-value, compare that with alpha. Well, our alpha in this case was 0 0.10. Our p-value, let's go back, forgot what it was. Our p-value is 0 0.623. 0 0.623. So we could see here that the p-value this is bigger than alpha. It's greater than the significance level. So since our p-value is greater than the significance level, that tells us to fail to reject the null hypothesis. So now let's 
write out our final conclusion. So since we failed to reject the null hypothesis and their original claim included equals, that means that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. So let's go back. So we fail to reject. There is not sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean of the population of estimate, estimates is 60 seconds is not correct. So remember, the original claim was that mu is equal to 60. Well, we don't have enough evidence to conclude that the mean of the population is of estimates is 60, is 60 seconds is not correct. So it appears that as a group of students, the students are reasonably good at estimating one minute. So just to recap, to go back, the original claim was that mu is equal to 60. And we do not have enough evidence to warrant rejection of that claim. So what that means is that the mean could actually possibly be 60. So if the mean could possibly be 60, it means that this group of students are pretty good at estimating one minute. Check answer. Okay, perfect. 